Hey everyone, Siwa Bowtie here with, I guess, an episode or a weird series to review this creator name, Games by Noah. Um, as you can see right here, um, right now he's offline, don't care. Um, he's been a member of um, Armor Games since um, 2017, and I don't care about any of that. What I care about is the games he has made. The games he has made is what I am here for. Um, he has four games that apparently he has made. All of them are pixelated style, which I love pixelated games. Um, however, there are two games that I came across when I was doing a whole bunch of work. I wanted to have something in the background for me to like be like, okay, I need a distraction. Let me go here. Okay, I can upgrade this stuff. Oh, I have enough money. Kind of just idle games. So I was like. Oh, what could be cool one? I found these two, which are his, um, the first one was AFK Heroes, which means Away From Keyboard Heroes. I thought, oh, okay, let me try that. And instead of being away from my com keyboard, instead, I got so addicted to it that I questioned if it was even an idle game. And then I came across King's Fall, which came out this year, um... And I was astonished to see how it they were both very similar, but at the same time, both of them had their flaws, which was very weird. Like, you can see, especially in the next, the King's Fall one, a big step back. Now, I would like to also review his other two games, which I just found out he has, which is Into the Abyss Reborn and Access Code. One off the bat is a weird title, Have for your first title of games, but I'll get into that with I review those games, which I'm playing on. So, we're gonna bounce. Okay, so here we are with Away From Keyboard or AFK Heroes. Um, one, title screen, looks really nice seeing characters and everything. However, has armor games, has the creator, the game by Noah, but does not have the title of um, AFK Heroes. and at first, I didn't even think about that until I started thinking about reviewing this game, and I loaded back up, and I was like, oh wow, they, he didn't even put the title of his game in this, which at the same time is cool to think of, because it's like, oh, what is this game about? Ooh, I don't know, except for you kind of know, because it's like, it's up in the corner kind of deal, but I'm going to continue, because I've never played this one, so here we go. Is this your first time here? Yes, but also, before I press yes, first off, music. Music for the home screen. Very nice, very calming, and very interesting because it had the mechanics. Also, music for this world. Already good. Already something that I can put in the background, just have it as like whatever, um, including the sounds that come along with the game. Now, if you also can tell, the graphics are already um, stretching because most likely, he did not put into account of the ability for um, the pixels to keep adding on and repeating. Instead, he only put one, but because he is having his characters move across the screen, it is instead only repeating that one, but instead it's making it stretch. So that's an easy solution, but at the same time, I'm not creating a game, I'm just reviewing it. But first off, Loved how the intro begins, which is the Game Master saying, Is this your first time here? Yes, I'm gonna say, Game Master, so you should start. <laughs> so, we should start noob training right away. Hilarious gaming jokes. It's good. Just listen, right now, you only start with one active hero, obviously. Okay, cool. But you can gain up three party members. For example, you can hire an archer, or a mage, or both. And that's a good way to start off. Okay, so what? Of course, if you want to hire them, you need gold. What a stupid question. No one works for free in this world. Got it. And, I mean, that's true. It's just a quirky way to get us into the game. I love it. Game Master, he already has a simple character to be the um, person that guides you through the game. But, um, so you need to find some mobs and gain some gold by the, from defeating them. Now, let's go. So, here we go. Alright. And all... Not having to touch anything. Idle all the way. So far. Alright. 
See? What did I tell you? By the way, on your path you will find chests with extra rewards. You should open them immediately. Now this is where I questioned if it's idle or not. Because, sure, I have to touch it. So that means I have to be on screen to click on it, to then get it, to continue on. You're doing good! Let's earn more coin, gold coins. Oh, technically, same thing, whatever. Um, now, once again, not holding it. However, another problem I have is the health bar. Um, hold on, let me read this. Have you noticed that there are some heroes as equipped with a stick? By upgrading your weapon, you can gain better equipment. This will also increase the damage of your weapons. So what? You must... Oh gosh. You see how one is the button turns from red to blue. This means you have enough gold to purchase the upgrade. Really? I'll try that, and which I will. Bam. Great. Now your damage has increased from three to four. Have you also have you noticed that there is another button called level up? This button will increase your basic level of for your patron protagonist. Patron on what? Um, but you will need gold to purchase it. Tell me more. Uh, not really, but whatever. Um by leveling up, your hero will become stronger, hit points and damage will rise too. Finally, all the heroes will ha have their own special skills, which activities, spear, spot, whatever, I don't know what happened there. I think his text um, was only allowed in a certain area and he didn't compensate, but I'm not sure. And probably an easy fix, not something to really hammer down on right now. The SB bar feels completely higher levels, equals more ability damage. Okay then, enjoy your journey. Can't wait. Alright, so. If you look at the health bar, it's 3 to 0. If I know games, it is that if you have 3, as soon as you hit 0, you're dead. Also, as I want to show example, the chest disappears. So, 1. Yes, I have to be on screen to be able to open the chest to get the gold that's inside. The thing is, if I'm not on screen, it just disappears. Personally, an idle game, to go faster, you are active on it, but you can be away from the game, and it will continuously do it like you want it to be. So, for me, I have to click on it, which is fine. It's a simple, like, oh, to get more coins to move faster in the game, I have to open the chest and whatever, it's fine, whatever. So right now I'm going to level up my sword, level up, level up, and next one is going to level up my sword. So simple stuff, I'm already level 3, leveling up my sword right now, and we're just going to continue on, probably going to skip. Also another thing is that I have this um, bar of mana, I'm going to say. I don't know if that was what it was supposed to be, I'm pretty sure that's what the text was messed up to be, but it's supposed to be for um, this bash when it's filled up. Congratulations, you beat the first boss! Did you notice how the cost of upgrades has become more expensive? Yes, I noticed that. There is a slot machine where you can bet and earn useful things and help you out, but be careful or you will have nothing left. I'll be careful. Now this is another thing that made me question if this is an idle game or not because with the introduction to the slot machine I have to bet I have to bet and bet and continuously bet but for this one, oh nope, I didn't get it. But I can level up. I can have more of this. And that's good. It's totally fine. And to be honest, because I played it, I realized that I only need to be up to level five for the first three levels. And so right now I can save and bet on stuff. However, once again, this made me question if this is an idle game or not. Obviously. I don't have to do anything for him to swing his sword and take the monsters down and collect coins. I do have to touch the chest and bet. And see, I have five times win. Question is, five times of what? My coins didn't up, 
get not good not little but little but uh, my coins did not go up at all if future me will fix that so you guys can see all it was was flashy stuff so I do not know what this means at all all I know is that it just said I get five times the win but of what of damage or whatever but um, another thing which could be a simple program fix is that whenever I level up my mana I think I tried talking about this but went away um, goes down which is fine that means I still have the amount but hey y'all um, future me here um, I'm, gonna I'm about to explain this bash situation better than this guy did Jeez. Um, so he was trying to explain you have to wait for the bar to get fully full for it to be the bash to be used instead of having the bash cost a certain amount so let's say instead the bash should have cost 5 SP and so if he was to use the bash he would lose 5 SP so it's just a small fine but at the same time like right now I could step away and be fine wouldn't have to play so it's fine as an idle game however the way it's constructed is just enough for me to want to stay and play on the screen. I don't have to click to defeat the enemies. Like right now, I'm defeating this boss of this level. I'm going to the next one. Which, another thing, the music changes by environment. And that's great. That's great. And look, my bash is now ready for me to use. I'm not going to use it because I have no need to. So now we're going to wait because I'm going to get the archer and the mage. Oh gosh, so first time I got took damage, so I'm gonna upgrade right now, just that, because I'm almost about to get one of these, which I'm gonna go for the archer first, didn't have to resurrect anyone, I'm gonna use bash, it's probably gonna take me out before I can even continue, isn't he? Oh no, we continued, wow, oh look at this guy, oh. once again, music change, great think oh see all right so here's the problem I can restore for 125 or I can buy an archer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the archer um, because if she dies she dies which is fine oh gosh this is gonna be terrible um, but yeah, the thing is, this whole entire time I've been wanting to continue to try to get a jackpot. Still have yet to get it. I was hoping to get it in between everything. There we go. Alright, so going back to camp. We go back to level 7, which is fine. It's totally progression. It's the whole entire idea of what idle games are is that, oh, after you, you get to a certain point, you restart from the very beginning and you go through it again. And you keep doing that. You restart to, if you're playing a um, ink corporation thing, you usually do it to lower your tax so that you can buy stuff faster and also get more money out of stuff. Simple marketing stuff. And other idle games is whatever. But for this one, it's you go back to certain levels so that you can beat bosses or monsters or creatures that you've already taken down and you know you can. So that's what I'm doing. And don't know why my archer has a stick for a bow, but whatever, that's whatever. Hey, I actually didn't have to go that far. Just got my jackpot. If you can see, my money went up very fast it's great exactly what you want from a jackpot and the thing is I want to continue 
on because I'm feeling lucky. It's the whole entire game of what Vegas does. They have all the noises, all that stuff, and that's what this game is. is that it has all the noises. It has right now. If I put this in the background, I could work on stuff. Just listen to music, hear monsters getting killed, and then when my party dies, they die. And then I can I can upgrade them to however, or I can revive them and continue on and upgrade them very quickly. But the thing is, as I said earlier, idle games are based off of losing progress to a certain extent. Because you lose progress to gain progress. And you're supposed to be able to stay away and... Oh gosh. But it's right there on the borderline of not wanting to be an idle game. That's all I wanted to talk about for this, is that I would have to be here to click on those chests. I have to be here for the slot machines. While other idle games, it's like, oh, every 10 hours, 5 hours, you can come back and spin this wheel to get extra money so you can upgrade stuff or you get certain stuff to be able to use. That's what the idle games are for. While this one makes you want to constantly be here. I'm gonna restore you. It was a waste, but whatever. Don't care. Sort of. But that, that's all I wanted to talk about for this game. I still like this game, but... As you'll see in the next video for King's Fall, is why I have a problem with this creator. And it's not a bad thing, don't worry. And so with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.